booty bump. Yeah. Talk. Uh, right now? Yeah. You know what time it is? It's uh, 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's 1900 o'clock over here. Uh, are we on air? Yeah. Michael? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. It, thanks for take, taking my call. This is Hansel. Y'all call me Hansel. And I'm Hans Dread. This is Dread. And this call is for Moose Girl. I'd like Moose Girl to uh, talk to me some on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> wow <clears throat> I don't think she, I don't think she's going to call you but messed up my trick this is me Flash and you J Dread in don't talk with a hair lip in a, I'm serious about this business of taking over the world in a perfect world yes I'll make it a perfect world or when what? I'm in control yeah love the government ah okay wait well, for it this girl it's got to catch up to you yeah i'm gonna have to take a little 10 minute break here and do something with cirque bye i'll be back okay. all right i'll see you more later and in the tradition of mr flash somebody i'm here with you today Vinny dufris and i will say hi to the bots and bodies mr barman being at the top with beetle and grimner and moose girl that here's this now that's back brackets dc i think he hurt himself uh, anti <laughs> anti asmo child sedoni and graham z who's out uh, and we'll ask her when she gets back how does her garden grow because she's out watering it right now as we speak i b d on c and this is the new alphabet thank you mr don carol Way down where y'all barrel beer. In Germany, right? No, they saw Texas. The German part of Texas. Meister Brau is there with the Java doctor. And Kate Rome's Vanna White. You know who she is, if you don't know? She's our own bot right here. We uh, stole her from Pat. Yeah, Pat got back. He was on him. And this is me, Vinnie Dufresh. And if I'm not the Dufresh she'd like to see, um, I was going to say something clever, but I somehow lost my cleverness. Barman, give me some clevers. Uh, somebody asked Barman to give me some clevers, please. Weather dark and phantom and circle. She's a wonderful muse. Yes, she, uh, she changed the word of the day. I, I had a word of the day. It was called Waffenkulo. And she got me off into this other word of doofrish. You for sounds much better than Bapangulo. It's not German, it's uh it's Italian. So Waffenculo for you. Cyber Nugle. And uh and N7 Flash somebody, he's over there smacking his lips. And Frumpy and Drama and, and Hagrid. He's all locked up in caps and stuff, shouting real loud. Shout it, shout it. JJ's nice in Scotland. Don't look under his kilt. Kiss Mr. Snick. <laughs> and take a ponder gander. There's Poopster and Prince. They're together making tracks and coming to uh, Real Liberty Media on Thursdays. Right here, Real Liberty Media. Uh, <laughs> Media. RLM Radio. That's the, That was smashing the two together. Yes, it's the Poopster and Prince Power Hour. And there, there will be prints made. And pawn sauce in a sock puppet. And Van Meter just on it. Okay, there's there's Prince. He's just tuned in. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's a cool-looking guy out there in Burbank, California. Some people call call me for you. Okay, I'm going to jump over here because Flash asked me to talk for 10 minutes. And I can do this, you know, if I'm, like, ready to do it, but. I wasn't really ready. I was ready to talk to Flash, but uh, but what I want to do, I'm I'm working on a show for Friday. Um, here, wait a minute. I've got a I've got a picture. I'll show you. I got it right here. This is a screenshot. So here I'll put it in. Oh, you know what? I didn't go over to the other channel and say anything about being live. But here, look at that picture. Why do that? Oh, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Here I am. 
I'm gonna say we're doing like uh doing radio. Chloe's busy. She's working real hard. Hard, hard, hard. She'll be undone in a bit. Okay, here we go. Back over here. Um yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I'm back. This is from the screenshot I made. So I'm working on a broadcast for Friday. It's called The Domesticated Terrorist, Executed in Black and White. So I hope to take a little poke at the, uh, well, you know how they're calling people domestic, uh, domestic terrorists, the uh, homeland type. Well, let's take a look at who the actual terrorist is. So it'll be a little uh, lesson in avoiding the quarry. And that is the pitfalls of perception. It's a setup for the takedown. So join us uh, August 23rd to 2019 and listen live right here Friday, noon central, and join the chat at 1 p.m. Eastern for people that are time impaired. And it is a What Matters uh, Ponder Gander right here at reallibertymedia.com, ilmradio.xyz. So what is the definition of a terrorist? Uh, you, you might consider just like warm up here. I'm doing warm up for Friday. Oh, where'd I go? There it is. Wow. I believe we're watching the political machine through and with the media's help, crafting a list of words, defining what they want us to believe a domestic terrorist is. Beware. Don't fall for their trap. Uh, yes. Thank you, Jeanette Finnecom. And I used that uh, my last broadcast, too. So as you might notice, a little theme going on here, black and white. Yes. And uh, variants of the words of the uh, um, execute something in there. The stalking horse. That's public relations and propaganda leading the drive for the social perception and direction of our collective existence. It's a wonder we've not all been trampled to death. Whoa! What's a stalking horse, you say? Well, the 1972 film Jeremiah Johnson co comes to mind when thinking to describe the rarely seen stalking horse. Bear Claw, a seasoned mountain man, teaches the tenderfoot Jeremiah to hunt from the far side of the. Now, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get this because you might think I'm uh, tacoing or in the typo. So uh, to uh, hunt from the far side of the query, the question. Yes, being saying. Elk don't know how many feet a man a horse has. Hunters would therefore slowly approach their quarry by walking alongside their horses, keeping their upper bodies out of sight until it's pow! Too late. The stalking horse approach. All right, let me go back to chat just a minute. I'll interrupt that for a minute. Somebody said, uh, what? My link doesn't work. Why? I ought to. Uh, hey man, how come it don't work, Grimner? Let me uh, copy and paste it again. Mm hmm. Er. It's a uh, it's copy of what I'm reading. Well, I opened a picture in a new tab. It's a Facebook picture I put just so I could put it right here. It's just like a temporary thing. Let's try that again. See how that works for you, Mister. Works for me. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, what I are? There it is. Thank you. I better copy and paste that. That works really good. Thank you, Grimmer. I'll copy that. I'm going to take it over my little notepad. Oh, the, boop, 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 boop. I'm a reporter. I'm a reporter. I'm smart. I'm smart. I like you, Cycle. And I'm going to push this over here. Post it. But yeah, let's post it right there. Got it. Well, I have to remember what it is. <clears throat> All right. And now back to our program. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You stalking horse. That's right. The stalking horse approach. <clears throat> I'm going to. This is where I'm building my R log right now, anyways. Okay. Using the stalking horse as a camouflage to deceive the target or the prey. A stalking horse method used by the hunter for ages is to crouch behind the horse, concealing the true identity and purpose of the approach. The false front. A stalking horse bid, if you 
prefer. Hello, Mr. Flash. <laughs> Hello, Vincent. Did you get it all put in? Absolutely. Nothing. <laughs> well, it just made good sense to go on the hour at the time of the decision making process. But well, I didn't know for sure if you wanted to do this, so I I had planned on something else. Well, dog dog it. Yeah, but I'm right. done. I'm done doing that now. Good. Uh, so I'm now gonna... I've I've come to ridicule and berate you for Thank two you. hours on in a perfect world, you worthless mm-hmm. pot smoking hippie anarchist scum. I love you, Vincenzo. I, I love you. Excuse <laughs> me. I would not tell. She was telling me to tell you that, and I said, "Nah, I ain't gonna tell him that. You tell him that. Leave and, me the and fuck." Flash out of loves him. you too, Vincenzo. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 yeah. Love, 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 John. Everybody. Yeah, I love all you fucking people. You love me more, a long time. Special. You lucky bastard, you. <laughs> be, gl- hey, be glad we're distant. This huh? right here, we're, I, I'm going to insert it in somewhere for this. What Why? I was what's going on? About Friday. Yeah, but your yes, show. Personally, mm-hmm. words is words. But I find it funny how those that say, don't say this word well, or that, are quick, fit words, purposely found. Well, okay, it but be- we're in a perfect world. We're not. Say, we're not in a pond. By all means, say it. Shout it out loud. Hey, Tell hey, hey, you. hey, check this shit out, Tell pal. You know what's going on in the real world that we share? It's a party like his 19. No, you should be reveling in your freaking win, Johnny. You won. I did. I won. The ban was abandoned. Here it is. I'm going to put it in chat. Hey, so you- the ban was abandoned after all that complaining you did. I thought what you band? fucked the one against uh, Miss Chloe. Band? There was a band? She- yeah, she was a band aid for a while. Come on, don't yeah. don't don't screw almost, around. Don't pretend you don't know what this is about. Yes, I knew it was about, but that came out of the blue. Well, that's because I just read it yesterday on the interwebs. I, I don't even know if it's true or not. For fuck's sake, I'm, yes, Kate. I observe and report. Damn it! I don't make news up. <laughs> yes, Miss Kate, I'm there. and uh, I bow to. Uh, to Kate, but you know, I took the uh, I took the position of ignoring people for a while, so um, other people, well, uh, you know, well, Kate, hmm. not to respond, and that's uh, that's a good point because hey, everybody has the right to do as they uh, will in this world. Uh, but my appreciation to her, and one day I hope she'll uh, start responding again. You know, I have the right to be mad just as well as anybody else. I have the right to say, uh, wow. you ego maniac. It wasn't about you. It was about somebody else. I'm making it all about what it was all about. And then, uh, because I made oh, wait. it such a think about it wait. and I kept it up and kept it up. And you know what? Yeah. I feel I was right. And I always, oh. right. okay. Well, do you, are you still doing an impression of Hansel? I can. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, would you do me a favor and keep it to yourself? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Just joking around, you know, because uh, I have I have in my mind, you know, uh, an idea of why Hans won't do the radio with us. And I came to the decision. It's one of two things. Hans is either a 15-year-old girl or Hans has a terrible lisp and doesn't want us to know you know, to listen to it, he's protecting us. <laughs> Decided on a conclusion. Yeah, because you can't decide on an idea. You have to conclude something to decide, Vinny. It's part of the freaking process. Well, since you interrupted me, I'm. Gonna <laughs> have to do what? Because I find this very fitting. What? When I say, yeah. and this was response to Sterling Morris. Yeah. Personally, yeah. words is words, mm. but I find funny how those that say don't say this word or that are quick to spit words purposely foul and demeaning to someone that's other than they but by all means say it shut it out loud tell it like you really feel it party like it's 1984 84 84 i was there i was in all kinds of places in 84 that's a shout out to prince ah 
already known as uh, <laughs> Prince. Our Prince is going to be here with the Poopster. Yeah. Power. On th Thursday. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Well, it was just funny because I was teasing Grim about uh, Goober and Hansel were going to replace Mary's time slot. And the next yeah. thing I know is these two new guys are saying, hey, we, we want to do a show or we're doing one and whatever. whatever. I think they're adding... They've done it before or something because they they were putting links up, so they're experienced. Yeah, you know what? Hmm. I don't think uh, I've heard Poopster talk yet here. Chat. Oh oh oh. Well, I, I read it. I read his chat. I didn't hear I think, his chat. I think they're the same guy. I think we're. Uh, oh, you're gonna start that again. Okay, have fun with your weird conspiracy theories, Mister Vincent. I always do. Well, anyway, I was trying to give you a little uh, time to brag about your. Your win in the Supreme Court of Real Liberty Media. It's not a win for me. It is win for Ah, oh, here we go. Now you're going to be all humble. Like, uh, you're more sickening than a fucking voter. Okay, anyway. I know. Well, you're for all this status shit that I'm against, Vinny. Boffin Kulo. Yeah, but I really hate all the stuff that you do. <laughs> it's just, wow. You hate what I do? All of it. The banning, the prohibiting, the, you know, you that. personally, but... People, the yeah. shit we, the me. shit we, we do as a collective is just makes makes my skin Stop. crawl. Quit, you're hurting my feelings. Be, shut up, then. Take your beating like a man, you big baby. Are you gonna Are you gonna cry? Hey, maybe we should do that. Tell each other, call each other names until we cry. <laughs> Be American. <laughs> right, you can't call me enough Invade names. Invade Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> you you guys have a comedy team that's just you're welcome fan wow it's fantastic you know what? i thought the clintons I, 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 were good I, I'm responsible for the most content in chat here by y'all talking about goober and uh on solo yeah but you know what trump has a way better looking wife than old obama did you know and uh and as I Michael. recall, let me finish this comment. And as I recall, when I was back home pre-2011, uh, the world was bombarded with freaking pictures of that god-awful Michelle Obama. And, and here I am on the Internet, and you know who they don't, they don't overexpose? Michael's penis. Trump's wife. She's ugly, I think. Whatever she stays out of the freaking limelight of the you know the public eye as much as compared to Hillary You're not Clinton or that she does though then because huh? she's out there pimping pimping the poop is she well I yeah. I don't see that news crap you guys get stuffed down your throat I'm in Denmark get, you know the Danes are laughing because he was talking stupid about buying Greenland. <laughs> I mean, on top of the whole fucking thing, you guys are $21 trillion in dollars in debt. Where are you going to get the money to buy more property? <laughs> I ain't worried about it. It's too, uh, it's too funny to me. Well, I could put in like a, a GoFundMe or something for buy, buy Greenland. Hey. We can drive it. Nah, I don't think it'll work. There's not really much there. Listen, you There is under it, but not at the top. Okay? Huh? I want to kick back. What? Otherwise. Yeah. Move to Greenland? Of, no, 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 no. Who's going to get the money? Grimner told us if, yeah. if, if we was to buy Greenland, hmm. we got to buy it from Denmark. So. Well, apparently it's it's an autonomous colony. It, it's it's all on paper. There's no, uh, like, it's different. It's like the way the states treats Puerto Rico. They claim it. They claim it as a property, and they force all the people that live on it to follow their rules. But that's as far as it goes. There's no, you know, the people don't get anywhere because of the connection. We will bring you democracy too, sir. I don't want any of that fucking democracy shit. We will drop peace bombs of peace upon you. You know, it was nice when it was a republic. And I came into life at the, the end of the Republic where it was obvious to the public that things were starting to look like shit. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the yeah. United States. Uh-oh. See, God. here we go. But status, boy, does that, does that make you feel good when you do that? 
hey, you know who I'm uh, back to working, uh, putting the show together with? Um, a, let me guess. PI informant. Oh. Bill Fulton. Oh, this isn't anybody I know. Well, yeah, he's a big, uh, big uh, government uh, guy. I don't know any. Come on, that's the whole he's point. Well, you'll you will learn, sir. Yeah. But it's part of this domesticated terrorist program that I've got going for uh, Friday. Domesticate. Isn't that disgusting? Domesticate. Oh, yeah. No, domesticated. Domesticated. Terror. Yes, it's a play on. Oh, domestic- you're being a. F- oh, that you were saying at the beginning of the show, you're yeah. gonna do it on Friday. Yes, well, sir. you're teasing us with your little. I was more interested in the getting the band lifted and and. Uh, Let's get the band back together, baby. No, no, no. Let's stop all that. That's the whole point of why I brought all that up is because I'm not a fan of the person that got banned in the first place, but. I got Iggy, so you know I don't care who's on the page. If I don't like what you say that much, I'll just Iggy you and then gotta have to read anything. But it, it's it's not too many people that are that that damn annoying, but she is. <laughs> if she if she, uh, if she comes over and pisses on her leg, then uh, that'll be back on. I would not expect to see her come back after being booted. But you know what I'd you know, like to see? I'd like to see. Uh, Chloe come in Sundays mm. when, uh, when we're doing the uh, blues with Grimner. Yeah. Because she always listens up. Yeah. Uh, you know who we're missing today, too? Rob Works. Yeah, Rob. I noticed that yeah. this morning. Well, Rob said he was ha- doing some uh, house hunting looking stuff to get a, a better area to live in with a better internet. He was not satisfied with where he was, apparently. So he's well, off you- to replace it. You know, back to this topic of, uh, you know, words is words type. Of yeah, thing. that's the point of why I brought it up. But I thought you'd like to gloat because, no, I well, I would if I was you because I'd be all full of myself and think, hey, look what I did. We're a winner, not me. We all win. <laughs> We're and this is serious. Huh. And, and if you're offended by words, then where do we stop in the banning? Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, and I'm a horrible example of that. I don't, I don't speak in a way that people approve of. Yeah, always telling me off. If I, if I'm bragging, it's too much. If I'm, whatever I do, it's too much. Eh. But you know what? I don't really give a shit any fucking way. So whoop whoop. But I fight for what's right, sir. The information that we have made available to people far outweighs all these petty little personality things that we deal with on the you know internet and it's we're baited to it all any every time you read a link the way they present this shit to us is designed to get a response that you don't really want to give (laughs) and my friend was trying to put me uh pigeonhole me he's all like uh you know you support is it 420 somewhere yeah, close. I'm rolling right now. We're three minutes late, but oh, all right. You're welcome. Yeah, you're trying to say that there's a line. You know, you got to cross a line. You got to be on one side or the other. <laughs> but, <laughs> on a line, it's a point. Is it? Right? Uh, I don't know. Well, wait, 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 wait. Is it possible that it's not the same for all of us? Exactly the same way. It's different. And we'll go back over to what I'm saying about perspective. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Uh-huh. Well, and, and I know how you feel about it. So. Coming up. Wow. Respect. Somewhere. But all the people out there in the reallibertymedia.com chat and beyond, you know, that, that actually catch the show and see what we're, uh, see what kind of crap we're up to or what we're exposing or not exposing or reading about, talking about, whatever. These people know what's going on. But knowing what's going on does not help you. It, it's not designed to help you. In fact, if anything, I think knowing all this crap, really, uh, when it comes to the society, it works against us. There it is, perception. The but, default. yeah, it keeps, the, it keeps the friendships pure. <coughs> but it doesn't do you a lot of good with popularity and shit like that. Right, yeah, I, I will never be popular. No, no, no. Because I, I talk smack against everybody. But your I, friends, I, your friends are, are always your friends, even when we're not. We, we get over it and get back together again. You know what I yeah, mean? My, yeah, my 
Yeah, you got it. You're on this side or uh, that side. You're oh. no Fredo Corleone there, buddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Uh-oh. Gr Grimner's getting all Arkansas to you about Is it. You know? Uh-oh. Pigeonhole or cornhole? Oh, baby. Yeah, cornhole. At, what is it? I call it. Did you bring ball. some butter or what? No. No? That's no. uh, corn on the cob. What kind of wine goes with pigeon? White or red? <laughs> They're dark meat. <laughs> ah. <laughs> after, yeah, after the smoke clears. Yeah. Now, how many yeah. people know whether pigeon meat is uh, dark or white? Ah. Oh. Well, depends dark. on how, how much flame you give it to make it dark, right? No, it's the outside. We're all oh. the same. Inside? Oh, you're going to ruin the end of the story. Come on, stop that. Stop it. Hey, don't be so don't be so giving of the knowledge. Keep the knowledge back. Hold it secretly from the public. Make them beg you to tell them the truth. Okay. <laughs> about the, about Can the you pigeon. imagine? <laughs> well, what a world we're in right now, Vinny. The, 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 Love uh, it. The majority is being represented in the press and the internet as being for this and for that. And I don't know what anybody's for. Do you? I know what I'm for and I know what I'm against. Do you? No. Are you sure? I'm for right <laughs> I'm oh, oh, so your list is small. It's very small. Because the way these government agencies and all this crap seem to portray this shit in our face... It's like it's everything's so fucking important. It needs your attention right now. Put down the mouse, step away from the computer, and go and worry yourself into a stroke. <laughs> I got a problem. Yeah, do you? What? Yeah, it's not really a problem, but my, my doobie went out. Oh, then try relighting it. When my, I know, sir. When my friend Hansel makes cracks at me about smoking... I giggle. <laughs> I do. I sit. Me and Cirque just sit here and laugh. It's too funny. But the guy needs a new. Out Circle's word that uh, she gave me my name for the day, Vinnie Doofus. Oh, from was that her? Yes, from both ends. <laughs> she must have saw um, Scream. Listen, uh, something's happened to uh, Smart Ass. Uh oh. Fire in the hole. What? happened to smart ass did you oh, hurt smart ass he's not here oh because that's rob's bot i know but well then uh, when rob logs on it'll probably come back up uh, damn. he might have it down because he was talking about moving so who knows and haven't heard uh or seen him on on site for about two days so he might be in the process of doing just that these crazy people on the interwebs are capable of anything haven't you learned? Remember when you did it? <laughs> what uh, I do? Mo got up and left and went somewhere else, you crazy man. <coughs> that reminds me. Um, mm -hmm. I uncaught the button. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I'll get I over came, it. Uh, I came to the conclusion night before last. I went with my friends and stayed all night. And we did some uh, Jaeger bombs. That's uh, I know what a Jaeger bomb is. Any, uh, it's a domesticated terrorist uh, cocktail. Is that uh, what? Domesticated yes. terror. Okay, so you're creating a new reality. Got it. Yes, melancholy okay. cocktail. <laughs> okay. Mel of Tav. You know where Tav is? No, give me a minute. I'll be right with you. Well, run off then. Go. Run, 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 run. Yeah, I came to. <laughs> Sorry, it's so uh, you tricked me. No, my wife tricked me. <laughs> anyway. It went now. Nah, oh, never mind. Yeah, so listen, I, I've come to the conclusion you know, you've heard me say that I'd like to get a dog and bring my cat back home. Yeah, milk. yeah, 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 yeah. Build, uh, yeah. This and that. So, anyways, I come to the conclusion that uh, before last, I'm gonna make another trip this winter west. And then that's gonna I'm gonna have to officially be my last trip because I want to come back home and sit. So when are your your tentative leaving time? This, this time, 
this winter. winter. Okay, that like October, November, winter, or oh no, winter do you see? like December, February, January, February. Oh, when like it, while the snow falls, you're gonna be out yeah. romping around in it. Well, the desert, you know, is is nicer in winter than yeah, Arctic. except at night. <laughs> but okay, uh, sure. Uh, blankets. Yeah, I can bundle. Oh, you can. I I spent forty days in the winter. I, I know that, Vinny. Please, Vinny. I'm teasing you, Vinny. Come, calm, calm down. I didn't say that. I didn't call you. I called you, Vinny. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. But yeah. <laughs> I, I want to go. I want to go to Vegas, and then I want to go up to Bunkerville and go uh, Riverside, actually, and go see the Bundys. And so after, after the turn of the year, you're talking after before Jane. thereabouts. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I'll go spend a few months out. I'll probably go to California. Ah, and, cool. Yeah, I used to live there a long time ago. I've been meaning to go to Southern Man. Cal and visit down there for a little while. So I'm going to go to uh, uh, Riverside. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to hang out in Riverside for some reason. We, I don't know what it was, but we used to drive out there from Orange County all the time. Yeah, he lives in Riverside. So isn't that coincidental? That the 91 there? freeway, right? Yeah, the 91. Yeah. yeah. I used to live out there, stayed there a little bit. I stayed all over Southern California. And uh, Central California. I've been all over California, except for two. Believe it or not, Redwoods. But I've yeah. been close. I've well, been to that. You know, with all this disgusting shit that I see on Minds.com and the other, you know, sites and such, with all this crap they're doing with the with the kids. Yeah. Uh, going to the grocery yesterday, I believe it was. Must have been yesterday. And as I going past the train a whole pack of these about 20 25 of these little 12 year olds with two adults from a school on probably on a field trip somewhere and they're getting off the train and they're loud and they're unruly but they're in line they they didn't stray out of their you know their boundaries but while they're with while they were within the group, they were just acting out like kids 10, 12 years old do. Crazy walks and, you know, jumping around and loud. But when the um, adult would speak, they seemed to freaking follow the fucking directions, even though half of them were yakking through the damn directions. What I like about government. And you can get and, loud all you want to. Just stay in line. Friend. Well, okay, but I haven't been around kids... For years, right? Years and years, as far as living with children. So now it's it's just strange to see a 25 fucking 12-year-olds all at one time grouped together. I was in Johnson City, Tennessee. I was hearing this stuff, and I'm like, wow, what is that? And so I start looking out, and pretty soon here comes all the kids from the elementary school, class by class, and they got their teachers in the uh, uh what do you call it student age or whatever mm -hmm. and they're all like it's a huge parade i mean it's a pretty big school and they go down to a, a museum and later they all march back but that was pretty cool to see well the end of my story goes like this vincent out of those 20 25 children that i saw the other day i what i didn't see was one dark-skinned child so the lack of color finally got my attention. Instead of being used to seeing white people so much that I don't notice, I go, <clears throat> hey, wow, there's no black kids in this school. <laughs> I, let me tell you about the, uh, I don't even know. I must be a racist. That. It's the Jew in me, yeah, probably, huh? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> you know what I find out here where I live at? We don't have a, a population of uh, black folks. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're, it's uh, over in Clinton Mountain, um, and for forever, everyone called it Nigger Mountain. <laughs> yeah, like rednecks. Yeah, but most of them all moved off. But oh, like, but the name stayed. <laughs> ever, and, well, uh, Samantha, remember at church I am. Uh, her house burned down, so I haven't seen her in a while. She still must be around close. But anyways, after Katrina, we had a few black folks move up, um, and and a few that stayed. Not very many, but. Generally, you don't see a black population here in the area where I live. But what you do see more of, which will be like, uh, how would be the word or description I'd be looking for, how uh, population changes. Anyways, so 
there's like white girls that have gone off and they come back with uh, half white babies and then the grandparents a lot of times take up to raising them um and there's many examples i don't want to appear racist when i say they went off <laughs> i don't want to appear racist <laughs> Okay. To who, well, Vitty? Who? Wait, Me, who, who are you talking to right now that's going to ever think no. that you are a racist? Well, somebody that doesn't know me, I guess. Well, that's most of us. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so, back to Earth, we, Vinny. You're going to sound like a racist. Well, I probably will, but I'm going to go back to Rose's words. Thank you very much. <laughs> Put my glasses back on. So I know. Can... Be cool. Do you look cool? Or um, can you read better? No. <laughs> well, I've got two kinds of glasses. One so I can look cool, and the other so I can read better. Oh. Uh, yeah. I don't, I, my glasses are neither. Oh, yeah, I got I both. I'm yeah. a stronger pair, and I still, uh, they don't work like No way. You got to do something about that, man. You spend a lot of time in front of that computer. Take care of your eyes as much as you can before they fuck up. <laughs> you can't fix them. I'm gonna order some noggin. Or, yeah, I've got noggin. On can, back. can you imagine blind Vinny? Oh my goodness. That would be the worst thing. Boy, your typos would be fun though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know Chuck O'Chelly's legally blind. Oh, I didn't know that. No. Yeah, I like, I didn't. Well. I didn't yes, bring it up to make fun of somebody that I know that has eye problems. I was fucking with you. I'm hmm. trying to get uh, Bill Fulton on radio with uh, Chuck. And he knows hey. all about CBD and hemp and cannabis and big pharma. He knows all this shit. The guy knows every fucking topic. He's pretty smart. I mean, he's been doing this so much of this that, yeah, you wow. just... <laughs> There's the guy, you know. I was yeah. agreeing with you for a minute just about something, but yeah, yeah. I, I spoke briefly with uh, Chuck this morning. Uh, I say spoke. I, I, I got to get with Chuck and get this all lined back up. I have to go through the public here and all this stuff and talk to them and go. Oh, oh, Bill Fult. Uh -huh. I got a call from my friend. Talk into the mic steadily, will you? I have Tom. I uh, moved it closer. Is that better? Mm. Can you hear me now? Hello? Mm. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. So I there talked you, to my friend, Tom Lockavar Stewart. I mean, he called me. Well, he messaged me and said to call him right away. Very important. And I was like, gone? Because, you know, the Jaeger bombs and all that stuff and talking about sides and dots. And what do you got going in the background? Oh, me? I got a movie on. You need to turn that thing on, sir. Let me get... I will get to it, Your Majesty. I didn't know it bothered you. Yes. Oh. I can't see the pictures. Can you put it up on screen? Let me team view you. Hello? Where'd he go? Michael? Okay. But yeah, so Tom, Tom called me and he says, you know, this guy's a snake. And I said, yeah, I like playing with snakes. That's what I do over there. Um... You know this what they call the trolls or whatever, but you know, I think it's uh, it's a good thing to be uh, uh, criticized. It works for me anyway. I'll criticize you. I like to be criticized. Yeah, and and you're good at it too. You play better than anybody I know, except Rob oh. works maybe. Yeah, Rob's pretty much like that with you. yeah, like you are. <clears throat> but uh, hmm. I'd say Rob's more of a smart ass. I. No, he's just better at it than you are. Yeah, I I don't like you're to put you're up not. I, it doesn't just flow out of you. It seems like you have to think about it, <clears throat> and Rob just spits it out. <laughs> he thought cool. about it while you were talking. Spitting it out. <laughs> okay, Vinny, I'm just <clears throat> <It's> leftovers. <laughs> well, maybe grand... so, but did you listen to Graham last night? This no, I listened to him live last night. I couldn't sleep. I had something come up. Yes, I was great. I like to listen to Graham. He probably needs to do yeah, more radio. He, well, I don't know about doing more. Don't burden the fucking guy. He's yeah, already no, doing two do shows it. a week. Let's whip him. No, I don't want to do that. 
he doesn't whip us make us you know if you don't learn how to do this by a certain day well you're fucked you know don't don't put him in a position to, to do that to me <laughs> are, you, are you tongue lashing me sir are you whipping me yes with your verbal with your uh, with uh, my jewish wit verbally no my jew wit because if it was the Mexican wit, I would throw a voice out there to go with it. So that you will be impressed by my English. That sounded Chinese, Mexican. No, I mean, I'm, hey, man. You're just being critical. <laughs> uh, are you trying to get me banned off of RLM? Huh? Huh? Are you, huh? Are you reading chat? Hmm. I can. I got it on the screen here. Look, where do I start? Who? What got your attention, re- Vincent? You're getting, you're getting requests from Meister Brown uh, Hagrid. Oh, I am. Yes. Oh, I'm getting requested for. Well, why don't you just tell me? Uh, because you're doing the uh, tongue lashing. I ain't doing it. That's the repo- That's the Democrats doing hey, all now, that. Now, buddy, you've mm. got you've got offers. This may be commerce. Wait a minute. Am I, what? Are you freaking <laughs> losing no, your mind? No, no. This is only for live listeners here in the chat room. At yeah, because nobody's going to understand what you're talking about. They're, That's right. Vinny's or- punking me. He does <laughs> this. He he can't do the Stallone impression, so he just picks on me for five minutes. Because close. Yeah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> imagine living in a, a, in a an environment where people actually spoke with that dialect yeah yeah well i lived in jersey for a while and it was in the 80 uh, 79 80 ish right in there so that all that new shit that we saw on tv hadn't hit yet but they did have the italians that did you know kind of talk like stallone yeah they were like that yeah they weren't that stupid. I mean, Stallone was, really went out of his way to make his people look dumb. And then they got that Cuomo guy to just nail the freaking lid shut the other day. <laughs> yeah, I don't think <laughs> The CNN has this uh, relative of uh, Mario Cuomo. He's a commentator or newscaster, whatever you call him on CNN. And... About a week ago, they they film him live. I was talking about this the other day. It's comparing being called Fredo because he's Italian, calling me Fredo is like calling a nigger a nigger. No, it, and it's like wow. <laughs> There's a big difference. Well, there. yeah, because Fredo is a character in a freaking movie. Yeah. So if you never saw the damn movie in the first place, think about how many people there must be that never saw an English version. Of the Godfather. Huh? Huh? What would you would, would you say? Your mother dies. Okay. Well, okay. Would you say more people in the public have seen it than have not seen it? Not I, seen it. Yeah, I would say that too. They have not seen it. So everybody's heard about slavery, though. Right, but this this guy's yeah, but he's comparing Fredo to nigger, trying to. I have- Wow, I <laughs> just, wow. And I, I come from the days when that wasn't only about black folk. People call you nigger if you're a lazy white guy. Lazy, you you know, lazy brown guy. It didn't matter. If you're, you just nigger. You don't want to work, you motherfucker. And it wasn't a, so much about color as it was your work ethic. And as I aged, then the color thing replaced the work ethic as work diminished. Work diminished. Hey, yeah, we got a- hey, we got replaced with freaking automation, man. Don't you know that? Well, what's wrong with you? Look, in are the you, 80s, it, look, in the be that, hey, in are the, you gonna be the house Negro? No, oh, it's funny. Hold the, on a minute. Yes, sir. So. Comes to to this point right mm-hmm. here from Flash, and I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna magnify it with this link. I'm dropping in chat. What happened? <laughs> Oh. No, hold on. No, 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 really. It's, it's funny. I got to hit it again. I think I messed up. There it goes. Okay. It's flashpointmag.com house. Uh, H-T-M. The house, nigger, and field nigger. Nigger. Nigger, yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. So just, that goes it's into, just like it is now, only we just uh, deny it. It's the same shit. Uh, it, it all ties together, though, in the domesticated terrorists. Now, oh, this, okay. So see how now this, this and words are used uh, against us. So mm -hmm. it all ties together, doesn't it? And it how yeah, well, but you'll tie terrorist, it. One sort of way or another. If you I want to, it. Vinny, there's going to be opposition to that, to to say things happen by you know divine grace and uh, karma and plans and all this other shit. And I'm pretty much convinced the results, even though they do seem like there's their plans, they're they're just the results of a, a lot of shit that went wrong. <laughs> no, they've not gone wrong. They've gone right. And well, yeah, wrong. right. Wrong for us, right for like yeah. inoculations yeah. or global warming or, you know, shooting the Kennedys, shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, where did I see that at? There's a big billboard going up somewhere down in the south, and uh, this nurse said uh, she was never really informed about how vaccines are, are deadly mm. until uh, until her son became a victim. Wow. Ouch. Mm -hmm. See, because they don't, they don't read all that information. They're just doing a job. It's like, uh, like being a, a TV repairman. You know, if it's a problem in the cable, it doesn't have anything to do with the TV. You know, or if you're not going to work on a car with plumbing tools, you're going to use auto tools. So it's the same principle. They're just not applying the right shit to the right problem. Yeah, I, I like to say this: we're all niggas now. Yeah, we are too. And that, a, but have you have you mastered the art of making your prison comfortable? Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You know that. Well, yeah, but. When I talk about it, I get called out and get, I get people upset. There's not very many people that live the rich life I do. No, I, I understand that because the, the general population is all caught up in the, the glitz and the glamour and shit. It's stupid. And they forget that without electricity, man, that shit's all crap. You're fucking stuck. So, yeah, there you have it. Yeah, you you might compare me to uh, Epstein's picture or uh, yeah, the, Epstein's picture. Yeah, of Bill Clinton on the uh, in the blue dress are, and the red. You, you're wearing a dress and laying on no, a. I'm oh. saying you compare me to that, where I Bill's all you know, about the apparel, like you're talking about the what you call it, the glitz and the glamour. Or yeah, something. glitz and the glitter. Yeah, glitter. Well, see now opposing that is me sitting over here and walking around outside my house in my drawers. And feeling just as free as free can be. Mm. I, I'm a genuine freaker for sure. Well, you know, I want to take a minute to address something. And that something is. Oh, this. you said address. Yeah, no, I do. Clever. You're welcome. But uh, I was reading the chat and they were um, talking about. Uh, hold on a second. I lost it for a second here. Uh, well, you were going on about, well, we're all niggas now, blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah. Right, but we're we're not taught to uh, hmm. we're not taught the truth about the whole fucking thing from the beginning. Like talking about civil well, they, they say this shit goes back to the Civil War. Freeing the slaves. That's what the indoctrination teaches you. You know, Lincoln freed the slaves and da 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 da. No, Lincoln absorbed the South for tax benefit for the Rothschilds. <laughs> Can't get tax out of a state that don't want to be a state, can you? So you force them to be a state. Well, how do you force people to do what they don't want to do? You sell it to them. You talk them into doing what you want by disguising it as something else. I may have something that you don't know about. Probably do. I, there's lots of shit I don't know about. Do you know that there is a conspiracy theory behind the uh, assassination of, of uh, Lincoln and John Wilkes Booth that had not really died? That wasn't him. That uh, It was a switch. No, I haven't heard that. Yeah, I believe uh, Ralph Epperson cut covers that. Mike, you know uh, who Ralph is. Yeah, but up, which he... one was switched? The the killer or the president? No, the killer. Booth. Okay. Well, eh. I don't know if it's that familiar. It sounds it sounds too possible. Maybe I did read something about it, but it doesn't didn't stick. So I'm going to go with it. it sounds possible to me. I believe that could have happened. 
So this is the weed that comes back into the dress and Bill Clinton. Hmm. Okay, how does this uh, go to that Clinton thing? Well, then then Epstein and his body being switched. Uh, Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they probably did. Because everything, every protocol the prison was supposed to, you know, follow, they didn't. They broke it that night. Everything that was supposed to work failed, and every rule was broken. What a coincidence. If it had been anybody else, the SWAT teams would have been there. So, nah, this is nonsense. We, We just get... We get the same shit from the same fucking people, and every day, day in, day out, and after a fifty odd years, it's kind of obvious. <laughs> you don't need to be convinced it's not true, or it's tri- you know, it's a trick, or a misdirection, well, or a fucking not lie. Not <laughs> new. I mean, we can see where it's been exampled back to the days of of uh, Lincoln. Then, how do you explain the voter? Do you think that they've not done something like that? Oh, I say they, the ambiguous. They, yeah. they. Do you they, think that's not they. been done before? What? You know, the switcheroo? Oh, oh no. I, sh- I would expect it. I, that's how cynical of this system that I truly am. Is My mind first goes to the unexpected shit. Because whatever they tell us is never the truth. Doesn't matter what it is. If you hear it from the freaking government, fuck it. Might as well not even read it. It's garbage. And that's how I feel. That's why I'm so popular with so many people. Because Mike I knows. just fuck this shit. Mike knows. Look, you see it? Mm-hmm. Mike knows about it. It's the last post in chat there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Several several patsies were convicted. Yeah, probably. But uh, I've also read that Lincoln had a problem with Mary Todd because he had a second family in... Uh, Somewhere in the south, I think it was like Georgia, Alabama, somewhere down there. But again, you know, I've read so much stuff on the internet, you don't know what the source of it all is. So some of it's fun to repeat, but to call it historically accurate, who gives a shit? We're in the mess we're in now. How we got here at this point, the way we talk about it is of no importance. What needs to be addressed is the fucking money problem. The Federal Reserve. And they got such a smart name that your average Joe doesn't know what the fuck you're talking about when you start talking. You know what I I do all the time? Hmm. Well, I'm experimenting right now. uh, Karsten's wife was working at the bar the other day. And I stopped in to have a couple beers looking for something in town and whatnot. And uh, I felt like bringing up to her fractional reserve banking. And she speaks English. She's on the internet. She, you know, does all the languages. And it's a smart female. So, but saying that no, are smart. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I don't think much of people being smart in the first place. But mm, most women, I, I'm not a big uh, flirt with females out there talking to them all the time. <clears throat> so, I only seem to really bring out the brainiacs. As far as that goes, with females, the smarter they are, the more they want to chat. So I was kind of bragging about me, but the point is, she's her English is not even a second or third language. She knows others, but their English she doesn't use it very much. But she uses it with me when I come into the bar. So I thought of bringing up the fractional reserve banking and see if she knew ever heard of it, and she didn't. So I told her, well, you get five or ten minutes. There's a link. Go open it up on YouTube. And she says, yeah, after work, I'll, I'll do that today. Because, you know, she has ten in the bar. You can't get interrupted for a drink while you're, like, into a link. It's insane. So, <laughs> you know, we're a little bit better than that, I suppose, in this world. Think ahead, Vinny. You know what I mean? Plan for later. And, uh. But I have. I'm gonna go back in a couple days and see if she got it. Got a few minutes to see that or not. And if she did, that explains to somebody how the fucking money problems got the way they are. But she's Danish, not American. So her output on you know her input from the money system, I don't know what she's learned about it. I didn't really ask her, but she didn't volunteer that she knew about what I was pointing out. 
cool. Well, I hope she'll take the time to really look a little deeper into it. It's hard to get people to do that. Exactly. Know? Yeah, I've been drinking there for years, man. And I'm telling you, just the other day, I just went, I wonder what the hell. I wonder if I could get thrown out of here for being a, an American. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Yeah, telling people I, the truth about shit is not popular, Vince. No, I I'm gonna but, leave a wake of gotta, tears. Hey, listen, hmm. listen, the the cake is a lie, so you got to put a little icing on it, right? Sweeten it up a little bit. Well, yeah, you know, but your rapport with people that you speak with, it, it depends. Some people, you know, you read them different than I do. Some people like the blunt truth. And I believe this couple that runs this bar are they're far more interested in, in the the shortest distance to get the thing done. Don't you know? Don't bullshit me around. Show me the show me the fucking thing and get let's get it done. They're that kind of people. And a link will do it, huh? I I if uh, if she's as intelligent as the people I've encountered, I which I assume she is, it should click. Yeah, and all her uh, all her, her personal ideas about the state and the government they they seem to line up with you know like the rlm majority you know the state well you tolerate it because it's there you can't fight it so you know participating in it i make the you know they tell me they make the best of it because they pay such high tax but they go wow but look at what we get for our taxes so it's okay i was saying to you you know what i do and Mm -hmm. you didn't quite get there about the federal reserve when i go out mm-hmm. and ask them to take the federal reserve you i'm mean, finding more and more people though are 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 understanding what i'm saying but they don't understand what the federal reserve note is that's when you peel the icing off the cake yeah yeah well when you get into the fine print about who owns the federal reserve note that you're using or the bank account that you keep it in <laughs> things change you know it'll be a fun search right here just to go with that I oh know. here i came up what? with the, the the usage of the f word or mm-hmm. George yeah i was going through that with the uh waffen uh kulo mm-hmm. that word it's italian word so but yeah that was a little search there that i was going Pie, pie in the face. That's what I'm looking for. It's like instead of getting that promised result of the uh, the cake, the cake is a lie. Mm-hmm. Bam! You get smashed in the face with a pie. Wow. For real? How do you like? That? Yeah. I wouldn't I mean, like that. Nah. Then I'd have pie in my hair and shit, and I'd be all pissed was, off. Not pie in the face, but pie assassins. Remember pie. them? Mm, no. From, I'm do a no, bias. no. Oh, I got a couple of channels. Oh, you you're multitasking. You don't remember that? Oh, here's one. Pie mm-hmm. Assassins of Canada from no. five years ago. No, looks like I don't somebody. remember hearing about it when it happened. Oh, yeah, they it's used to familiar. do it all the time. Okay, like, but it, I, maybe I missed I'm in Denmark, God. for crying out loud. It was before you was in Denmark. Then I was to- in Scotland, so... Hmm. no you wasn't you was in america i was in scotland for two and a half years before i moved to denmark back in the 70s dude oh in the 70s oh in the 70s i was in america yeah yeah what 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 do you talk pie 70s pie who what they would go up and like there'd be a public speaker uh that'd be like all of a sudden instead of getting shot in the head to get uh, smacked in the face with a pie no, nah, it's not ringing a bell. Maybe it just didn't get, on, get my down. attention. Calm Let's down. <laughs> we have to have help. Uh, <laughs> help, help. Uh, we're broken. Mike, Mike will know, or Grimner will know, I yeah. guarantee. Okay. Doug will probably know. Uh, if Grumpy was here, I bet he would know. Somebody help us. Well, so uh, you caught me on a topic I'm short on. I, I don't tell you what I don't know. I only tell you what I think I know. Listen, sir, let what, me tell what, you what, what? What? something. You're not as short as you are when you're standing. Five <laughs> foot <up. laughs> yeah, but I'm still taller than my wife. All right, let's read the chat. Let me see if it's right. caught up down there. We've got our, our minds on it. We've got Nog and Juice got plenty right here in the chat room. Uh, do you see anything? 
No. What, what, what am I looking for? Stop oh, violence with pies. Pies yeah. are for eating, says Prince. Yeah. So, and, Grim, uh, Mike will have to help us here. Well, I don't know, because uh, Mike's writing about where he's lived. That's got nothing to do with your quest for the pie. Right. But, you know, the laws of pie are strong. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. Are strong. Well, because we're on radio, I can't. I've got this joke my my uh, uncle used to tell when he was alive. <laughs> I can explain it to you in words, but it doesn't translate the same when you speak it than when you do the the hand gestures. So it goes like this: My uncle Joe would pretend to be disagreeing with his girlfriend, and he'd raise his hand and he'd say, "You see this." show her her hand with you know, his hand his outstretched hand to slap and she put her fingers in a triangle and say you see this <laughs> and he'd shut right up <laughs> never mind you know you put your forefinger and your thumbs together to make a like a heart with your hands you know with your fingers yeah yeah she'd do that to him and say you see that <laughs> yeah. and he'd straighten right the fuck up that to him this was what a, a pot being a pie assassin will do that right there Grimner, about when they was did uh, i stall pie. long enough for you to get it yeah. oh, okay I how got... to pie a politician no i never saw that oh, click wow. that with your mute on if you want to uh no <laughs> i'll just be laughing through it nah, no that's I, all right I i'll pass going, i got so I'm like 11 seconds i in. like insulting and interrupting you mister it's no, fun no, no. Yeah, because I was going all crazy on you about the Chloe band. I can't well, think of the oh, Chloe band what? without oh, thinking yeah. of you. Oh, yeah, man. Slap that poker in the pie. <laughs> oh, you're watching it? Yeah. Who's in I it? Think I've got it on mute, but it's a, uh, I don't yeah. know. But I think, uh, I think they're saying, uh, Vafanculo. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You're too funny sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Think I don't pay attention, huh? Anyway, <laughs> Mac. So, oh, that's I don't, stuff. Yeah, I don't. I don't that's think much. You know, crazy. Vincent. I don't what? think much of intellect in the first place. I don't compare intelligence in the traditional way that most people do. Like, uh, if you tell me you're educated through a college, that doesn't mean anything to me. I knew a lot of people that were really fucking smart that struggled in school just had horrible memories for the crap but they knew how to do the job but they couldn't fucking pass the tests the written test to prove ah, here we go he's not listening uh, anyway i was <laughs> oh this guy's getting slammed dude. yeah and that's why i didn't put it on we'd be watching it at two different times talking about two different things like we're doing now but different. Eat my pie. Yes, eat it. And in a perfect world, that okay. is the place to eat a pie. In a perfect world. Where would you eat a pie? Uh, in a box with the fox on the train, in the rain, uh, everywhere. Pie is great, man. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Mike, does my lighter habit bother you? I flick my lighter out of habit. <laughs> It's a habit I got. I hold my Bic lighter and flick it all the time. Oh, I don't even pay attention. Mike on the RLM was just teasing me I about see, yeah. how many lighters does Flash destroy a month? <laughs> I always hear it. I figure you're sparking the bowl. Oh no, I don't. I don't do that, Benny. <laughs> no, no, no. That's just a terrible rumor that Hansel started. Really? <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Call it what you want. What are you doing? Nothing. Are you lighting something? Did you know that in uh, Maryland, I'm going to post the link, the highest court in Maryland just did this for the people. I'm going to post it for all you pot smokers out there. In Radio Land and RealLibertyMedia.com. You'll like this if you read it. You want to read it? Go on and read it. <coughs> okay. Should I? Are you setting me up? 
No, no, no. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a short read, but I posted it. It's called uh, Court Rules Cops Can No Longer Stop People After Claiming to Smell Marijuana. I heard something about that. I'm clicking it, but it's not opening for me. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I, let me want me to Go try to send it on the wire. Okay. There it is. All right. Yeah, it's so just a short read, but it's good news if you're in the legal game where you need it to survive. This is a great beginning. So, I'll probably be told uh, that this being would be set precedence, but uh, I think I misused the word sometimes. Somebody pointed it out. To well, me. this is a course, you know, written by somebody on a website. So, you know, there you As go. As cops search for the smell. Uh, we have seen entire families held hostage, women, and children beaten up, rampant sexual assault, and all of it stemming from the plant smell. Apparently, the violence has gotten so out of hand that uh, one top court in Maryland is doing something about it. The Court of Appeals of Maryland, the high-ranking court in the state, said in a ruling this week, which opened by quoting Bob Dylan singing, The times they are a-changing that police are not justified in searching a person based solely off the smell of marijuana, according to a report in The Hill. The ruling was unanimous and common sense prevailed among all seven judges. The ruling came from a case that unfolded in 2016 in which Michael Pachero, Pachico, is that a Mexican name or Italian name, a Dago name? Uh, I don't know why I wouldn't know. I was trying to be racist. Oh, so be very racist. Very good. Quentin arrested because police claim to say he was a Puerto Rican. No, uh, well, uh, Mexican. Did didn't was isn't it where this whole word marijuana came from? It's Mexico. From yeah, they used uh -huh. it to yeah, yeah to demonize cannabis, mm. make it sound so, all Latino. Yeah, right. scare yeah. the white people. Yes. Well, he was subsequently arrested because police claimed to smell weed in the car. Um, during the incident, two, uh, two officers identified in court documents as uh, these two guys were conducting a routine foot patrol in uh, Wheaton, Maryland, when they noticed this Pachico, Pachuco. I'm going to call him Pachuco because that's more racist. <laughs> Pachuco, alone in the dark. In a dark, wait a minute, let me try again. He was alone in a dark parking spot behind a laundromat. Oh, man, I almost got busted in Amarillo for my weed, man. And I was like, they had me and searched me and stuff. And I was like holding it in my hand. Dude, right, right. <laughs> hey. He said, what's in that? I said, oh, electronics. And I'm all like digging through my other stuff. Yeah, I, oh, man, they almost got me, dude. Sure enough, man, I'd have been in big trouble, right? I had about like. 15 joints or something rolled up. Ouch. Yeah. What I state? Jail, man. What state? Oh, crying yeah, out loud. Know. Might still be in jail. Right? Depends on the cop and the, the court. Yeah. Some places in Texas still have hor horrible fucking uh, pot laws. Yeah. But, hey, wasn't I tricky? I learned that a long time. Yeah, I'm sticking it. I'm holding it in my hand right in front of her face. Yeah. But you, you lost your, I lost your spot. Now, where okay, you were, well, but we were in a dark parking spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I, I opened one link and you opened up a different link. It's the same I story, opened. but it's two different links because they don't right. read the, in the same order. Yeah. Well, I might not be <coughs> order. I can't ever think of that. <laughs> you might what? I'd not be reading an order. Oh, I didn't think of I that. Don't know. Okay. Yeah, we've lost our spot. But it was in a dark spot. That's where we were. Uh. After, After growing, growing suspicion of the idea. Yeah, of sitting in his or her car rather than in the laundromat, which was open at the time, the officers decided to approach the vehicle. Upon uh, approaching Pacheco. No, Man, what Pacheco. Yeah. Pacheco. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it makes yeah. Because the it would have to be. They smelled fresh burnt marijuana. Hells, bells, and heavens to Murgatroyd. Call the cops. Court document said that uh, shortly after Heffley noticed a marijuana cigarette in the vehicle center console, which he testified he knew immediately 
was less than 10 grams. Man, I'll be smoking that shit all the time, nigga. I know. That's right. Despite a 24, uh, 2014 law which criminalized possession. Get him, Anna. Tell him. I smell marijuana. I smell marijuana. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You got snitched on, dude, by your dog. Oh, yeah, me. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Well, anyways. Oh, can you hear Hannah? Oh, I'll mute. No, oh, you're fine. I love Hannah. She can speak all she wants to. Speak, speak. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. It's a post discriminationalization of error, and uh, there's been plenty of errors heard. Now we move on into the brave new world. Thank you. Good day. Okay. I'm, I'm through reading. Oh, you're through reading. All right. Yeah. Well, I didn't think it was that long of a read, but anyway, the point was still that. At least, if you're going to play the state game, that the the odds are getting a bit leveled. They're more fair. Because all that, I smell pot crap was, fuck, that was them just smelling their, their clothes. See, the whole thing about incense, they should have started making uh, incense that smelled like marijuana in the 70s. They did. Do you know, in, in 2000... The most popular scent of incense in the United States was marijuana. Really? Uh huh. I, I used to sell incense through a company in uh, Missouri, and that they hand dipped it, and it, the shit burned for like one stick would burn for an hour. So what it did was, burn? huh? What did they do? I don't know. I didn't do the manufacturing. I just found the company and found a way to make money off it. But how much were you paying for like a stick? Oh, I used to buy the, the bulk, you know, thousands, bags of a thousand, twenty, wow. thirty, forty thousand at a time. Really? And so you'd like pay what twenty bucks for a bag or something? I don't remember. I don't remember the the finances. What but, was your profit margin? Uh, hundred percent. That's after, all. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to double my money. You double your money? Yeah, and that included everything that it took to package, you know, labels, bags, and the I product. Think I, Thought you'd be making like five times at least. No, I wasn't that greedy. No, no, well, no, no, no. Greedy. You just have to make your money work. Back right. in two, I did. I did fine with what I was doing. But I mean, what I'm, you're, what talking, I, you're the, talking like a lot of money. Doubling your money is good. But if you're talking like you know fifty or a hundred bucks, just I I'm mean, a I'm a low if, rate. If hey, millionaire boy. Double. Hey. Listen, I'm trying to help you. Okay? Millionaire boy, slow down. I, I don't need a, all. I don't. The convert, commerce. Uh, all right. No, 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 no. Yeah. And I'm taking a cut. Just know that right well, off. Well, all I'm saying about it is. It's not going to be 20%, sir. At that time in, when I was that. doing this, it was a statistic that I read through hey, the, sure. the company that I bought from. And that marijuana was the uh, number one selling incense stick that they manufactured. Really, that's cool. But it's weird. Who fucking buys it? <clears throat> Somebody that wants to. I mean, know. that's how. But they didn't say what country they were selling it to either. Because different religions, different countries, they they look at certain aromas spiritually or part of their culture, shit like that. Hel uh cleansing, healthy depends on what you're dealing with. So. Did you ever like sell it like, uh, like Indian medicine or something? No, no. I just bought and sold uh, at that period. That was just incense and Where candles. You uh, you I had a distributor sh in uh, Nevada that I sent everything to. That they redistributed it amongst their clients. So how long would it take you to double your dollar? Thirty days. Jeez, that's not good. Unless you got a lot of money. Wow. See, what I'm not telling you how much, you know, I'm just making a point about. I need to know more because. Uh, it was yeah, an, this, look, you're a greedy prick compared to me, man. I just like to live. I don't like to work all the fucking time. I like to make enough money to get through it. And I've always been, you know, just enough, not oh, that yeah. excessive yeah. shit. You didn't actually have to do any work. All you did was push some buttons or put, lick some stamps or something like that. Ba well, yeah, it wasn't anything you could really call labor or work or anything. Just being smart enough to to see a, a place to sell something that the people that were going to sell it for me, they didn't have access to it. All they right, so how much money did you 
invest every month. I'm not going to tell you that, but I'm going to tell. I I did at least twenty thousand sticks when I started, but I don't remember how much it was when I quit. But what I did when I ended my uh, my little venture is I gave I gave the woman a, that I did business with over the time. I gave her all the supplier names and phone numbers and salesmen that I dealt with. So she could just continue to fill the orders herself instead of just walking away and keeping it a secret. Right. Well, That's I could have been a, or tried to sell it to her or something. I said, ah, Renee, here's, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm going to go out somewhere else for a while. You could have asked for 10% for a certain amount of time. I could have done a lot of things, but I think to this day that the key to my success that I've had in life the way I feel success is by not being so fucking greedy that is I had she still, to. Huh? Is she still in business? I'm sure the business is still there, but I doubt she's still You're working. Gonna I'm going to be 60. This is when I was 30. Crying out well, loud. The, what was the name 40. of 40. No, I was 40. Now, I'm not, the name now I'm not going to tell you the business name on the radio. Oh my God. But that's still what the point of the damn thing was is marijuana was the most popular scent of incense. And that's how I knew is I used to sell incense to a, a company that would redistribute it in smaller, you know, smaller orders. So I'd sell them however many, you know, dozen at a time, for example, however many cents they wanted and they'd sell it off in smaller amounts to the people that resold them for them. It's like kind of like a reverse pyramid scheme. <laughs> you like standing on a corner. Oh, no, a, no, 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 no. That's a fine no. side Did this in the it's damn... Flash my friend selling incense. I used to do this in the garage listening to Led Zeppelin. Nah. I'm against Ted Nugent. What's that got to do with Led Zeppelin? Nugent. Oh, <laughs> Nugent. Well, you know, how do you know any of that shit's real anyway? He's a performer. I, this is the way I take society to this moment, Vinny. These people are entertainers. They get paid for talking and behaving and acting and all this crap. So how the fuck do you know what they believe? They get paid to tell you that. shit. You know, they I'm get, not sure I believe Poopster right now. About asking his wife. Poopster. What? Why? Why? Yeah. Poopster. Yeah, it's going to be the Poopster in Prince Power Hour coming Thursdays here at Real yeah. Liberty Media. Yeah. So. RLNRadio.xyz. Yeah. Oh, they're talking about the Mormons using buffalo chips for heat. Well, I, I used cow cow patties when I was in the desert to cook with. You know, I, I you remember I told you I cooked the duck. Somebody gave me a duck that they shot on the Virgin River, and I cooked it. And what I did was I used cow patties, and I had the orange peels from oranges I was eating, and I wrapped it uh, up in uh, in orange peels and cooked it over cow dung. I called it uh, cow cow duck cow dunga uh, duck, uh, peak no orange duck, yeah, something like that. So the shit lights on fire or what? It burns. And it burns. Okay, so it's similar to wood. You're no, just more like, smoking uh, it in shit instead of smoking it in wood. Yeah, but what is cow shit? I, hey, whoa, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just using a word, Vinny, to identify it. Don't get all crazy on me here. Call me a poop. S- sit down, cease and desist, you vulgar man, you. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hey, You're the one that was talking about cooking a fucking hey, it, dead sir. bird on a cow patty. <laughs> not me. I didn't bring it up. I was talking about, hey, at least in Maryland... They're going to probably still do this because the public won't know for 10 years. But I bet you know cow poop. Right, but this is how the government works, Vinny, is they write these laws and they tell all the people they can read and write, but they don't tell the people that break the law, <laughs> that can't read and write. they got no idea what's going on. Oh. So there's some kids running around out there, people, whatever, going, oh, shit, we can't smoke because they're going to smell it. And they're so conditioned, see? We've been conditioned. Let us all be fishers of chips. They, oh yeah. That's Good. what I'd like to... I don't want to pick up and move, but if me and Cirque ever moved out of where we're at today, I'd like to go stay in uh, Freetown, Christiania. 
That would okay. be a fucking hoot. Stay there. To stay there? It would be like, I don't know. After a while, it would be like, eh, let's go home. No, I'd say that if we left where we live, that's my next plan. That's I'd go to Freetown. You're right there next to Copenhagen. Copenhagen rocks. It's a freaking great city. They even have like this miniature Disneyland right in the center or of the town. Somewhere, that's right, people. You know, where, where it's got rides and, you know, you go in and you spend a day doing shit. And it's r- right by the train station. It's a really, a, they, uh, hmm, they impressed me. I, I thought a lot of what I saw in Copenhagen. But then I liked uh, like New Orleans, San Francisco, L.A., Miami, New York. I'm doing it. Tommy Chong. <coughs> right <coughs> but you know what I didn't? The one thing in America that I didn't like, the, the, those turnstile things in New Jersey driving, where they go around in a circle. Turnabouts, roundabouts. Turn, yeah, round, in England, they're roundabouts. But in America, I don't think they call them roundabouts. They're, I don't they're remember what they call things them. Here in America. Some people call them traffic circles. Yeah, traffic circles. Well, okay, well, those, those things, because I didn't grow up. I grew up in the grid of L.A. So when I got to New Jersey and got into that circle fucking jerk thing, that, that tilted me a little bit. Did not want to drive much in New Jersey. Spent nice. a lot of time as a passenger because of those freaking circles. I like the Philadelphia, a Philly uh, cheesesteak in. Uh, oh, Philly. no shit. Yeah, well, they had them in Jersey, too. They called them Philly cheese, but they were in Jersey. Yeah. But if you went to Philly, it was the same damn sandwich. It was like the same suppliers of all the shit, too. Packaging, everything was all the same. Like, remember the blue cup of coffee in New York City? No. That blue, I, I no, you Jersey. never... Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I was there in the 80s. If you watch movies, like, ask ask Goober sometime. Him, he probably noticed something like this. In New York City, in Manhattan, they had this blue cup. And every vendor that you went to go get a to-go cup of coffee used that same blue cup. Like, it was a fucking law. Like, there was a... a like there was a law that was broken if they didn't use that cup. <laughs> know what I mean? Huh? Huh? Uh, Get it? It makes sense. It was probably a mob thing. I would, you know, with what we've been taught, probably. But every time you went, you get the same coffee and you got the same cup, and you're always pleased with your, you know. It was uh, never a disappointing proposition. But yeah. you identified it was. You got it right away. But uh, when I lived there. <laughs> I I met a guy that was uh, he worked for a place that serviced the pinball machines and pool machines and uh, what were the the music machines? What did you call those things? Uh, hmm. Karaoke. No, way before karaoke. Uh, fuck. Thing that the you used to play the jukebox. Time. Fuck. I haven't used the word in so long, I forgot what it was called. No, yeah, when I was a teenager, we had the jukebox. You go in, in the 70s, way before the 70s, but, you know, we had a jukebox. You put a coin in there, and you play a couple of tunes. And that's turned into, evolved into what we got now. Well, anyhow, the guy that, the guy, <laughs> I met a guy that worked for the freaking... The mafia, Do basically. Up with sand. Come on, sing it with me. I ain't gonna do that. You know I, I was, I was talking about an association I had on the East Coast many years ago, when I was younger. And you want to break out into song? I ain't that. <laughs> what are you, are you smoking mean, again? I want to take marijuana. If that's the law. Well, you part. gotta sm- stop smoking grandma's titties, Mister. You're it's making you crazy. Yeah, and I've told you the story about the uh, GMO weed I think I got my hands on in Freetown. Huh. Yeah, way back when me and Cirque first moved here, or when we moved to the house, but just before we moved to the house. So I'd been in, I'd been in Copenhagen, I don't know, <clears throat> a few months, and uh, I had been smoking the hash. I and didn't then, smoke all and I'm a little congested. Huh? There you go. Well, then they got some bud come through, 
and I wanted to give it a try, so I did. Bought me a small amount, give it a test run. And what I found was, whatever this stuff was, it was bud, tasted good, but it made me very angry. And pot never made me angry before. I never even can imagine wow. it. Right. And I'm telling Cirque, I go, wow, this isn't right. I, don't, I feel kind of angry. You, you know how you feel. And uh, I attributed it to the bag of, that I'd got where I got it. And I came to the decision that it had been fucked with somehow. But didn't, didn't damage me or anything. No, no, no. It, Back in the day? Oh, no. I, I was always warned about all that. No, no, no. Up, man. Yeah, but when that was going on, I was still really young, and there was a lot of older people looking out for me, because if anything happened to me, and I was around them, and they, you know, got sick smoking weed, and then I got, then boom, everybody's fucked. So, you know, people looked out for me differently when I was young than than, than some other people, I suppose. It's kind of like you as a, a little Epstein in a way. Epstein, I don't yeah. know what you mean. That power over all these people. No, no, I just got along with older folks than myself, and some of them were twenty years older than me, and it was normal for me at thirteen to have adult friends. Who was the? Uh, what was the guy on uh, Welcome Back, Carter? It was his uh, name. Who was Epstein? the guy on? Well, Epstein. which? Who was the guy? What kind of question is that? No, Vinnie Barbarino's friend on Welcome Back, Carter. There was Ed four of them. But Mr. Carter. Yeah, no, that was the whiny little Jew kid. Uh, yeah, Epstein well, was a... Juan Epstein was a... Me, oh, a the Puerto cute Rican. Puerto Rican something. Yeah. And then they had the squeaky little Jew bitch that was... Uh, can't think of it, but he always say Mr. Carter. But Mr. Carter. Yeah, that, that idiot. But I don't remember his name. But I grew up on that crap because that was what was there when I was there, and eh, it wasn't all that exciting. I preferred to go out. Music, more music than uh, movies for till I was probably in my thirties, I would say. Uh huh. And then yeah, and then I hit a certain age, late twenties. I went to my last real big concert when I was uh, in California. I went to see uh, Dylan and the Dead and. I think 88, 88 or 89, might have been 89, but I can't remember. But it was the last big, you know, big concert I ever went to. And I went, ah, I've had enough of this. Horshack. That was his name. Horshack. Ta-da. So, I don't know. I, all this popular stuff, the older I get, the less I give a shit about it. Hey, they're missing somebody in here. Oh, here's another list over here. Juan. Luis Pedro Filippo de... Oh, Even wow. when Huevos. we play trivia... Huevos. He was from eggs. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. But even when we play trivia, I mean, some of that stuff is... We all know it, and other stuff is so obscure. As how the fuck would you know it? <laughs> and there's always somebody that knows the weirdest shit. You ever play? Yeah, it's fun. I've seen you on the... Uh, thing a couple of times but Grimm's usually there all through the whole game because I guess he runs the site you know and so he's got it there you know, you want to know what this is uh, mm. when I was first anybody ever started calling me Vinny was when I was on the run out in California in the 80s oh uh, no you mean you're not my, your name isn't really Vincent Easley it wasn't then oh wait now, what is it now Vincent Easley the second all right you're sure with a ray in the middle. Yeah, but okay. no, my friend, I, yeah, I always tried to use Vincent and my, uh, like, well, I was, uh, uh, Vincent Edwards at that time. So ah. and he was a famous actor and <laughs> I didn't even know that at one point. And so, like, Oh, I like the actor. And I go, <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But my friend, Mike, he called me uh Vinnie Bob. Yeah. Vinnie Bob. <laughs> so, so. Wow, I I don't want to be known as Vinnie Bob. Why? I don't know. Just it's, it's too many syllables, and I got enough syllables in my Vinny name. Vinnie short, is. okay? Yeah, Vinnie Bob. Vinnie Barbarino. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I would yeah. say. Yeah. Drugs. 
if you didn't see that episode. It was, you know, he oh, was I don't like, know. I might have. I don't remember that. Come on. Give me drugs. Give me drugs. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I'm too busy trying to get my own drugs to worry about. He was trying to act like he was high and stuff. Hey, guess what? Sock. Our very own sock puppet. His, uh, he was spraying some of uh, um, his stuff down in Florida. Duh. Florida. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was spraying some stuff. So right. At Travolta's place. Uh, We're gonna... Okay. Yeah, that's cool, ain't it? I would suppose. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know because I don't you care. Know, like I pictured him to look like Sock does. I saw a picture of him. He posted one. He docked himself here. Oh, <clears throat> I see. And, and yeah. you're telling me this because what? I don't know. I we got from this weave here from Vinnie Barbarino, Travolta, yeah, Welcome to Carter, yeah, and Doc, yeah, at Sock his house, yeah, Sock I puppet see. working at John Travolta's. Mm. Ah, well, he said Travolta. I I only suppose it was John. Mm. I mean, if you say Travolta, I mean that's like saying Cher. You're not saying Cher. What you're saying? Oh, Cher. Yeah, I love her. Uh, are you I'm sure? Yeah. Okay. If you say so. What I don't, do you say? I have no fucking idea. Are you like Mexican Joe? Dancing, romancing, always on the go, even though you ain't got a peso? Oh, no, my friend. I am more like zero de Niro. Dancing, romancing. My friend, zero de Niro, he sells the marijuana down in the corner. Man, we got good water here. Can so you glad. imagine? There's people out there in the fucking world that think the entire drug industry runs on street corners. And, you know, wow. You know what I've never done in my entire life? I could say something, but I... I have never, except for pre uh, prescription by doctor medication, have I ever bought something from a stranger I didn't know? Oh, I used to do it all the time. It's so much fun. It's just yeah, like... Uh, crap shoot. No, see, no. Nah. Like, hey, nah. is, this, is this drugs, man? He said, nah, man. <laughs> going out there, take a drug store on the counter, nigga. That's how I made some narcotics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that nigga sold me sheetrock. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, for real? Living the life. Uh -huh. Wow, no wonder they were posting that shit. Um, I have lived many lives, sir. I oh, were you were you a worn out crack whore, Vincent? Yeah. Oh, I was a chain <laughs> smoker. Oh, I provided you... services. Oh, okay. So you yeah. but you never quite tipped the scale and became a full blown crack whore. <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. Yeah, I'd have to hold that against you if you ever had. Well, I yeah, to, like, just to be a prick, work. sure. Why not? I, like, bring this thing to over here, yeah. and then like, send yeah. somebody over there, and yeah. that sort. Of thing. Well, you know, it's, it's like my father used to say: pull your pants up, and lie like Ted Kennedy. <laughs> so, <laughs> and he said with a grin as he's wiping his chin. Yeah, we had some clever sayings when we were young too. But uh, anyway, how did we ever get this fucking old the way we behave? I don't get it sometimes. I'm very surprised. You know, I'm going to be doing the double nickel here in about, uh, I don't know, less than 55 days or thereabouts. Yeah, because you're, yeah, you're right after me. I'm after Grimner. I think I'm after Beth Z, then me, and then you. When's your birthday? And when's Grimner? So his is in um, this month, and mine's next month. Oh, so he's within uh, yeah. the next uh, two oh, weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When's your birthday, Big Pop? He'll tell you if you ask him, but I'm not going to tell you foreign. But yeah. When is your birthday? The 22nd of next month. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do do the dork table for me that day so I can get the hell out with my wife. I might. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate this year. Long I, long I, I want to. I, have to I know, I know, I know. So what? If there's no show, then it's on you. I I begged you on the air to do it for me. If you don't want to yeah, do it, you'd be. A, you be a big old yeah. dork and don't. Shoot again, Grimner. Shoot. <laughs> Yay! Grimner got a duck for his birthday. Hey, 
Do you know that some of these red flag laws are freaking out there and they're active in certain states? Yeah, I, you know, and, I've been hearing about this stuff, but I've yeah. not really looked real close. Uh, um, I, man, you I'm guys filter down. Pe- right. People need to check it out because, I mean, there was a guy shot dead a week ago, I believe. Posted a link about it and talked about it. But I didn't think that too many people took this red flags concept seriously enough to really listen to anybody talk about it. Are you serial? Yeah, I am now because, well, the government is the government, pal. You know, And if, you, if it affects you and you care, you should check it out if you're living it amongst it you know oh this is cool find out what the what the state's got in store for you because it's all about the registered guns so if your gun ain't registered you're safe so grim's birthday is next month sir I think. august oh this month okay yeah. so best birthday is coming up friday september Happy birthday to our second oh favorite. she's not september i thought she said september well, Rome's is at nine eleven. I got I got a friend that's birthday. Oh, yeah. I'm twice of eleven. So I'm twenty two. Birthday is this Saturday coming up. Then, if I understand that correctly. Okay, Grim wrote it down. He says Beth is Friday. Grimnir is this Saturday. Rome's is nine eleven. Got it. Uh, I wasn't keeping up with the chat. Now I'm back in line, Vincent. All right, and uh, you know what? We didn't even have to slap you. But I feel I like. Know. We should- Slapped you. Yeah. So therefore, yeah. this one is just for you, baby. <laughs> <Prick>. <laughs> yeah. do, do you yeah, like? Do you like? Dark, it, oh, you just get prodded with it. Hey, do you like it when I write that on? There's some things people say to each other. I'm not involved in any of it. Some of it, and I just go, <laughs> "Wow, slap." Because that's what comes to mind is that, wow, that person just went slap right in your face. <laughs> you know you know about the stupid slap, what that is? Uh, no. That's Yo. when you slap somebody in the forehead? You go, pap! Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Let's check yeah, and see what yeah. Houdini has to say about it. What, who? Houdini. Houdini. Oh, yeah, your little translator impersonator. Thing. Urban Dictionary. Urban Dick. Got it. Are you an urban dick, Vincent? It, like sometimes gets. Are you or are you not a urban dick? Have you ever been affiliated with the urban dick? I want to know, huh? 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 <laughs> Trying to get okay, that was fun. Urban Parody. dictionary. I was making it shorter it. for you so that you would I'm have not to. Not on the back of the neck, but for oh. doing something yeah. stupid. Yeah, it's in the forehead though. Let me open it up and see what else they say. Stupid slap. How you like me now? <laughs> I don't know. You're <laughs> you're engaging some of the most interesting topics tonight. By basically smacking someone upside their head for being a uh, com- for uh, for being a completely dumbass. You're a dumbass for saying that. For being a complete dumbass, it should say uh, dumbass. Yeah. Give that person. A, uh, it's by uh, Koken Jr. Oh, uh, hey. Anti, anti, and Cirque share a birthday. Really? Read the chat, Vinny. I'm back, I'm back. Here I come. Oh, okay. I didn't know. It was, I got two screens now, so I got a, the chat open all the time. Where? On the bottom, Mr. Anti, above Grimner. Oh, he says I'm claiming 1111? Yeah, that's Cirque's birthday, too. Oh, how cool. And, yeah, there's a whole bunch of us that are, like, right after, yeah. There's Frumpy, my favorite Canadian. Hey, Frumpy. It's top billing for Canadians. That really ah, need. of August. See, the 31st. Yeah. See, August is a pretty busy. Starts I out with Mary, remember, though. But Grimner will and remind us on the day. But I'll remember Grimner's birthday. They just wrote it here. It says right there in black. Oh, and Beth is Friday. I am Saturday. Yeah. How, well, I'll one day. Her, what? I'll Listen, I'm, yeah. I will remember. <laughs> I will not commit myself to anybody. Uh, well, I, I think you should cut your finger and write it in blood on the wall in front of you. I only remember birthdays in October because that's when my birthday All right, a little I pinprick. Think, Come listen, on. I have to no. be reminded of my dead mother's birthday and my father's as well. So, listen, you know, don't feel like I'm just, like, being mean to you or something like that. Uh, oh, I'm that. sure his life will end if you don't bring it up that it's his birthday on his Grimner birthday. Grimner is going to help me help you yeah. in reminding me to. 
<laughs> Poor Grim. <laughs> he gets stuck with all the dirty shit jobs on the RLM. Dunny? That's why we call him the Big Pop. No, right? that's why you call him that. I don't call him Shut that. Your mouth and say Big Pop. I call him the Grim Grimm Nerd. Grimm no, 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 no. And, and if I'm in a Mexican mood, I call him Grim Nerdo. Grim Nerdo. <laughs> But I don't call him Big Papa. Amazing. Me, me and Grim are more equal age-wise than. Uh, so no, I'm not gonna. See, when I when I first uh, found out how old you was, yeah, actually, yeah. I was like, wow, I thought you was a, a lot, lot older than what you look like. Grim near. No, you. Me. Yeah. Thought I was a lot older than what yeah, I look like. When I was, yeah, by supposing what you look like. And, uh, ah, okay. you're a lot of. I, yeah, you're, you're younger than what you look. Oh, yeah, exactly. I, 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 I didn't think the, anybody could get that ugly. Yeah, the, and the gray. <laughs> it's it's that, shot. yeah, but it's that shade of gray that just. Oh, mm. You ran so. <sighs> it could be worse though, you know. What could be? My, Libras for the win, yay, Prince. What my, could be worse? My appearance. Oh. I could be a twin to you. And then what? <laughs> uh, I saw you riding wow. the fucking, uh, that, hey, separately. riding that buckaroo thing. <laughs> the, When's your birthday, The fake Prince? bull. <laughs> <laughs> In Abilene. Yeah, yeah so. that was funny. <laughs> 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 It just was like, wait a minute, because it was so obvious automation and you in that level were not familiar that, you know, you know what that thing's supposed to do, but it's a machine. It's not alive. Uh, and it was just like you weren't really enjoying that. <laughs> as, as, I was, it was like a, a joke. I, oh, no, it's going to. Here I go. Anytime now. <laughs> I'll have to go grab this here. Where's it at? There but you it didn't is. fall no. off. You you managed no. to stay on it. Uh oh, yeah. doxed. What? Oh, uh, here we go with this doxing shit again. What's all? Uh -oh. What's going on now? This can't get copyrighted. Uh oh. I'm copying it. Here we go. Bringing it over. Doxed. You see me? Doxed. Yeah. I don't Tell know. Me. No. It's all that, that secret code word doxed. talk in the RLM. Being doxed is when you're publicly. Uh, information put out there ah that's just brutal well i suppose you know if you do it to people then you'll get it done to you i suppose i don't know i stay there out of it right. you can look at it uh, later i've got later. opinions and that's about the fucking end of it too, you know but i'm not gonna pee on that I'm pee yeah on. but i'm just saying you know to follow to follow this into physical reality this online life would be to me it'd be insane as far as to you know to cause problems, that would be crazy. Hey, you want another weave? So I don't that even bull know what a, ride, When did I get a first weave? So listen, that that bull ride is the uh, West Texas. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. So I volunteered for the uh, telethon. So I'm doing the calls, you know, calling people up. And, hey, they're on a list, and so. Um, but anyways, yeah, and then I went backstage with my press pass, my very first one, and when we took pass off of it, we decided that it's not a pass. Do not ask for permission to be the media. But anyway, so, yeah, I went backstage and uh, at the uh, performance. And then, uh, of course, we took that laminated piece of paper and made it magical. Do you understand the mm. magic of lamination and paper? I do, yeah. That's what I was saying about the passport. Is Bad. whether or not I support the damn passport one way or the other doesn't have anything to do with having a fucking passport. But most people will tend to brag about the country of origin. You know, it's like a um, passing. It's like a rite, a rite of passing. We just learn to do that, to appreciate our motherland or fatherland or whatever, wherever we're from. And I saw both my folks go through it over two different places. And I lived in both places. And I thought both places sucked in the, in the long run. And, uh, hmm. So I think the lesson I learned from all that patriotism and country and state is I, wherever I go, there I am. Hasn't got nothing to fucking do with the state at all. It's just a matter of commerce. Pound me too. 
Uh oh. I'm why? Why do you want to be pounded, Vinny? Are you broken? Vinny, are you kidding? Why are you who's pounding Vinny? It's trending. What what is trending? You pounding something? What is pounding? The Put a hashtag on it. Hashtag thing. See, you changed all that. I didn't I didn't make that up. You know, that used to be on a telephone as a pound sign for What's a flap? Huh? The meat flap. Meat flap. Do yeah. you guys Poop. like meat flaps? Like from Arby's. Poops. Oh, uh, I haven't. There's a there. There's a McDonald's here in Fredericksburg. You're kidding me. No, I'm serious. It's been here since I've been here. Been here before I got here. It wow. was here when we visited. I remember passing it the first time we came into town. But I've never been to it. Now. One weekend, the family came over for something, the mom and and, uh, and her sister. And I don't think they brought the kid. I think it was just the two women, and they stopped and got McDonald's. I think So I've had McDonald's twice in Denmark since I've been here. And there's a difference in the quality or the flavoring of the food compared to the States. Or Scotland. Or England. Yeah, that's a meat flap. Flap it, flip it, put it on a bun, squirt some ketchup, mustard, pickles, and give it out and have fun. Meat flaps. That's what I'm going to call it. Flip flaps. Well, you know, the planet's fine, Grimner. I don't see anything fucking wrong with the planet. I don't really see much wrong with people except that they're misled and they don't know it. And it's very difficult to (laughs) share a a reality with people when they're living in something that's just bullshit, but they don't know that. So they're not, see, it's me looking at them judging this system thing, but I do try to listen to them. Tell me how they feel about their country and compared to Americans. They're a lot less uh, or English or the Scots. It feels like when you got to pee really, really bad, go pee. But they they don't complain about it like like we do. I'll be right back. Like yeah, like uh, I think that Cirque told me the other morning. Uh, the Trump administration's visit to Denmark, the Queen wants it, but the Prime Minister doesn't. And the Queen is the Queen, and I can tell people, well, we see it's basically that's where you're going to get your power is going to come from the the highest peak. And, but they just very rarely ever flaunt it in a public fashion so the you know the people will see them bullying anybody and this time I think it's kind of obvious but if I have my information from cert correct because the uh, person I mentioned it to seemed startled to hear it oh wait a minute the queen wants it but the prime minister doesn't shouldn't it should be the other way around <laughs> that was her opinion of it. So here I am doing the third, you know, third party information. But it's their country. You know, they're they're going to react however they react. I don't know. I don't try to have like preconceived notions. I try to make sense of what I see people do. And sometimes there's not much to compare it to. Are we there yet? Yeah. I was just talking about how uh, how different it is to be political here as it was at home oh. how i how i see it because they're smaller they got you know less to complain the fuck about too oh hey anti dropped you something over here in our what's other going place. on There's i have no idea box. yeah well i i talked a little bit so not for you sir i didn't do any you're more. not invited you're welcome shut your mouth oh fuck shut off man. don't don't go all Hansel on me or I'll have to slap you. Oh, I just mean. Maybe, uh, hey, maybe we'll just nail your shoes to the floor again. 11, one long. Thank you, Anti. I will but listen to that later. The hey, next, he's got great taste, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, but the, anti, the next time I nail you. your shoes to the floor, you're going to be wearing them. That's always fun. <laughs> I don't think I got that kind of mean. No, I can't. I don't know. I can't. No, I, do you know how mean? Think about how mean you'd have to be 
to do that to somebody though in the first place. Cause that would be painful as fuck. And then probably, once you're nailed to a floor, how do you get off the floor? Hmm. I, I think I could. There would be people that uh, that could be done to, and I wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah, but the way the nail goes in, you can't pull that fucking thing right back out. You'll damage yourself beyond repair. It needs well, to be done now. If you really, really thought you had to, I don't know. I've never Would put you? myself in a position. Well, I was just thinking how cruel it would be if I was to nail your foot to a floor, Vinny. And it's, yeah, then start a fire. Good Lord. I'd have to get a railroad spike, probably an eight-pound sledge. It would be hard to pull your foot out of that, I think. Maybe. Yeah, probably a shotgun because you'd probably try to strangle me. <laughs> this wouldn't end well. I don't want to do this, Vinny. Why did you think of this? I don't know. <laughs> I did. Because you I was know I having can't dance. a. I didn't know I can't dance. I was having a violent moment, Benny. Violent. Sir, listen, we've got a position for you in government, sir. Like the way no, you think. I'm an anarchist. You can be a domesticated terrorist and work for the United States government. No, Thank you. I'm an anarchist. You know the I'm first problem. The first yeah, problem right. I would have with a job at this point in life would be showing up. Listen. So no, talking, actually, I'm I'm being very serious now. And yeah, talking about well, like Bill Fulton that Bill go Fulton. in and actually create this crime. Yeah, they mm. uh, they're like Neanderthal looking. They've got the you know yeah. the cranium, the forehead bulging and the the brows. You know that you yeah. know what I'm talking about. You see this picture of a face. The same with the guy that came out of Mississippi that went undercover FBI for uh, against uh, Brewster ah. said, trying to make them. I mean, and get mad and threaten it. It'll be mm -hmm. like talking all mean and stuff. You're going to do this or that's going to be some consequences. Yeah. Up yeah. Hell. Huh. Bullies. Yeah. Bullies are convincing, Vince. You think I'm lying? I would no, lie. I said bullies are convincing because, huh. well, you know, yeah. people don't want to be threatened. And then plus, you got that court behavior thing going on where if you raise your tone to them, you, the way you do it is going to be represented as an act of ignorance. Yeah, or violence. And yeah. Oh, yeah, right. And you're, you've got no right to defend yourself from what you're being uh, accused of. So it's really an unfair advantage to have over people, but they call this legal justice or something. <laughs> you know, some uh, of yeah, our yeah. people here are like Poopster and Prince, but not know uh, my backstory about having gone about the country here uh, recently and hmm. with the witness and trials and report, stand in the gap. Uh, to, yeah, I was at the, the Bundy trial. I was on the witness list and didn't get called. I went. And stood as witness, nonetheless, by being there mm. and reporting mm. from inside and outside the courtroom. And I went to Denver for Bruce Doucette in that last week of his trial. Yeah, I didn't know who the guy was, but I did. Actually, I came out to know, oh, uh, yeah. know who he was. Yeah. And he was going about this, uh, this grand jury thing. They, they call them sovereign citizens and stuff. Oh, People yeah, are making well. a lot of mistakes. Now, Moosey, to answer your question from uh, uh -oh. last week. Oh, last week. About doing things. We do things, whether it be like what Flash was talking about earlier and planting that little seed with the link for uh, at the Federal Reserve on the uh, fractional. Uh, fractional uh, Reserve you, Banking. Yeah, Fractional Reserve Banking. So, yeah, I mean, for a yeah, simple explanation. To, to change the world about us. But people are making mistakes. So what I like to highlight is where to avoid this. This is the lessons that I learned from how, how to, uh, to avoid those pitfalls. The stocking horse, right? The misrepresentation, and uh, if that's all you're doing is learning how to avoid the the pitfall, then you're doing something for yourself. And then where do you come along later? Is maybe like uh, Flash again, you know, share a little information. That's what we're doing here. We're we're yakking, uh, running our mouths, having fun. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah. It takes me a long time to actually sit here and prepare to do a, a radio by myself to have the consistent information. I, I've got a problem with the trans. Uh, transition you know that uh, scene change or whatever but that's stuff i'm still working on learning uh to communicate better um, in writing but no no help for the hillbilly accent there girl. <laughs> yeah. well still some of the stuff that we talk about is relevant you know and some of it 
is something that somebody has to bring up to you. Wouldn't think of it all by yourself. Yeah. Doesn't, and you're luckier if you don't, because the the reasons you need to know this shit, they're all bad. So you know, to absorb all this negative crap, to fucking understand the ass whipping the state's giving you, that takes a it's, it takes a load. Yeah, and it's not for the weak of mind. People. <laughs> People that can handle this kind of uh, devastating news into their life and accept it, but not cower to it, you know, it takes a lot, I think. Yeah. And I, I think cower to it could be taken so many ways. We'll have to carry that part on an, another show because we're coming up to the end there, mister. And I really appreciate you doing this show with me. I didn't want to do it alone today. I'm just, I got a solo thing I did to, to, you know, to prove to myself whether I, nah, I really prefer partners. Yeah, I couldn't do, just sit here yakking by myself without having it all set up in advance. Yeah, it's easier that way. Yeah. But still, ah, it's. But I could sit here and yak with you for hours and hours. We did all that. And Quit. somewhere, in, but somewhere in all the crap, there are a few interesting points that we make about real things that matter. And if you see it, you see it. And if you don't, then that's not what's interesting to you. We're not hitting your hot bone, that's all. We're yeah. contrasting the occupation right here at reallibertymedia.com, rlmradio.xyz. Uh, for those of you along listening in chat, you'll see I've posted the schedule for Real Liberty. Media. <laughs> We have a new show coming. That's right. Yeah. Hoops and Prince Power Hour are going to be here on uh, Thursday. Thursday. That's yeah. right. It's not yet on the schedule. It's still no. uh, okay. being. Well, that was the rumor I heard that they planned on. So if it happens this week, it will be this Thursday. It is true, sir. So. Or perhaps the following. But, yeah, well, I'll give the schedule and I'll start at the uh, second day of the week. Which, what is the second day of the week? Do you know? <laughs> Let um, me ask the Real Liberty Meteor Chatters. All, Sunday. Also. No, sir. Second day of the week. Sunday. Second day of the week. Sunday. How is it Sunday? I don't know. <laughs> it's the one I liked. I thought it would be a good second day of the week. Wrong answer, sir. Because Saturday is like the first day of the week. This is, oh, man. we got to have this for a trivia question. Add oh. that. What? Oh, on the calendar, it would be Monday. The second day of the week. Monday. Yeah, but on our schedule, hmm. they have Monday. Grimner messed up. He has Monday as the first day of the week. Ah, uh, bad Grimner. Ooh. <laughs> You're, you've displeased his majesty, Grim. <laughs> you're, you're in the move in Europe to change that calendar. I'm telling it. Hansel. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in the corrected form, that's right, right here at Real <laughs> Liberty Media, where we make our own time, and you can get some time, too. You want to do radio? Hey, talk to me, talk to Graham, talk to Flash, talk to Grammy, talk to Moosey. Uh, talk to someone, but get on along and have some Oh, fun. yeah, shit, Liberty yeah. Com. Mondays, yeah. we've got Grim Leftovers. Yum, yum, fun, 7 p.m. Eastern. On I Tuesday, want cake. And Tuesday, we... You cake, buddy. <laughs> On Tuesdays, uh, we have what we're doing right now, contrasting the occupation in a perfect world where Flash and I will eventually get all our scheduling uh, corrected. But anyways, that happens uh, sometimes at 2 a.m. Eastern and sometimes uh, <laughs> uh, otherwise. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be losing Grammy, but she's going to be here for the next Wednesday in her rocket chair at 7 p.m. Yeah. Get along with the, end the of last the month. off. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. 20% off with Flash Somebody Thursdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Now, yeah, I think we're, our, our show will be with uh, Hoopster and Prince will be coming Thursday. I, I read, if I got the right time, I'm not good for this shit, but I think it was 11 p.m. on the East Coast Yeah. on Thursday night. And ask Grim. Grim will back this up. When we're, yeah, well, here we go. Date range. No, wait a minute. That's decent. Oh, so, I don't know. Now, Fridays, we come along to the Freakers Friday, and I am as free as free can be, and so can you be as well. 
Now it says I'm on hiatus for the summer, but I do pop it in now and then. So, uh, but you're going to do a show this week too. Uh -huh. so, the the, uh, the, the yeah. domestic. I was parent. listening. See. Yes, sir. A ponder gander with me, Vin E, one of the many right here at Real Liberty Media, and Grammy's going to be back at 7 p.m. the very same day. The Freakers, Friday, right here. Uh, I think she's got one more. After that, maybe uh, the end of the month. Yeah, the Grammys. Thirty-one in July. Uh huh. Taking uh, taking it away for a while. Back to Saturdays is uh, the Dork Table, which is the uh, seventh <laughs> day of the week. Saturday. <laughs> the, the first day of the week, Gramner. <laughs> who knew? Who knew? Vinny was such an anal retentive. I Good that's God. Sunday blues. And hey, if you got fast fingers, come on along and. <laughs> them and pick them because we're playing trivia uh for three hours and warming up for behind the woodshed with hal anthony yeah i got it right on the pacific side of the world right here so i'd like to appreciate uh and tell you that we do and double up because i was right it is according to prince 11 p.m est thursday eastern standard time dun, 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 dun. hey Daylight savings time. I, right. I was finally right. How many years wow. did it take me to do that? <laughs> I think we wow. ought to just quit the time change. Yeah. Or like, oh, I know. Half an hour, no. Set it there, leave it alone. Look. No, when it comes around in about Cirque's birthday, I this think, is right? Climate November. Change, climate, climate change. change. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's brewing with the whole uh, thing, man. I don't know. Leave it alone. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. I'm doing just that. I'm leaving it alone. Oh, and Grim says uh, I need a 20-pound. Huh? Grim says I need, I'll need. I'll want a 20-pound sledge to put a, a spike in his foot. Uh, uh -huh. Damn! I'm not trying it then. Fuck him. He crazy. Guy would kill me. I'm tiny. No. <laughs> I was pushing it with an eight. With Vinny, the cripple guy. <laughs> Grimner the bear? Are you out of your fucking mind? See that? Look, I got Grimner questioning in the world now. Do you? Uh -huh. Well, he's got me fear for my life because he's the bear. <laughs> fear for I my think life. We have some, uh, what? I have, we, have, we have some confusion here Do going we? on. Why? Yeah. So it's at 3 p.m. I don't understand. I'm lost with Poopster and Prince. I don't know what you're talking about. You're confused. Why? About this whole time deal. They're now gonna, you're going to make a run over because... 11 p.m. Eastern Standard me. Thursday. Uh, what? 11 p.m. Eastern Standard on Thursdays. So what is this 3 p.m. business going on here in EST? Is, I, uh, is everything... Three. I don't know what you're reading. Read the chat. I'm looking. I don't... There, you sick boy. I... Oh, Poopster. Oh, no, he's talking about they're uh, they're in California, I guess, and they're using the the New York time and he didn't realize it. It's earlier in California than it is. Yeah, it's time change. Yeah. Thanks, Prince. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Um, so calm down, Mr. Anal so Retention. I'm very angry now. I'm mad. I What's wrong? I think I've been slipped some GMO weed. Uh -oh. I don't know what. Dude. Yeah, it's terrible, man. It makes you I angry. I call 911. Eh, don't do that. No? Nah, the cops it? might shoot you. Uh, they would fix the problem, right? I don't know. What's wrong? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe this is a job for super hands. Oh, call them up. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I, I don't know. how. <laughs> can't we? Got what do we do? We put up that big light in the sky that's got a middle finger <laughs> to get his attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an awesome idea. Instead of a bat sign, you got a middle yeah. finger sign. I like it. And your superhero, you know, Hans Man comes and saves you. <laughs> man, I hope you took notes, too, because, like, I, of what? I'm all jacked up, man. Which oh, is I don't know. Oh, your friends, man. Some of the people that you know are crazy. Oh, we went over. All right. So did, you got everybody all happy. Thanks a lot, everybody, for playing yeah. along with me and Vincenzo because we, we do this sometimes. Over. Yeah.